Time to time, we love to have a green room guest. Somebody we put in the green room, and then we, and this one happens to be waving. So who is it tonight? Well, it's actually not a baseball player. I'll give you some hints. He's a football player. He was drafted in the second round by the Rams in 2009, 35th overall. He is a great, the Ohio State Buckeye. We're talking about the one and only James Laurinaitis, the St. Louis Ram. Come on out, James. There he is. And the crowd here at Ballpark Village, as you see, they're going wild. You see that, right? Yeah. Have a, have a stance right there, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you about a couple of things. OTAs began this week. You told me you just got done with a pretty tough day today. Yeah, um, you know, anytime we have to move inside because of the weather, it yeah. gets a little rough in there, a little steamy. But uh, we have some good work. We have another one tomorrow, and it'll complete the first week of OTAs. I know there's a lot of uh, you know, news going on about the Rams. Will they be here in a couple of years? Will they not? You guys are focused on football, and I think you all believe, and I think a lot of experts believe, you guys are going to be pretty good this year. Well, I hope so. Uh, it looks that way on paper right now. Um, you're right, there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, you know, I know for the player's perspective, it's really just, let's just focus on our job. Right. You know, what can we control? Mm -hmm. um, I've been raised that way by my parents, worry about the little things, the things right. you can control. Um, that's kind of out of my pay grade. So I know what I can control, how much do I study, how do I play, and uh, that's kind of our approach. Well, you had a famous uh, wrestling father, so uh, he yeah. probably taught you how to handle some adversity and control what you can control and, and don't worry about what you can't control. Yeah, exactly. And, and I mean, we're, we're really excited about what we have, like I said, on paper. Mm -hmm. um, we all know that paper doesn't really win championships, though. So how do we continue to work right now as we are in OTAs and really build a base for this season and come back in camp when we put the pads on and play some real football and, and really build our team and see what we have? You guys have a fun event coming up Sunday. I know you guys look forward to this. This will be the fifth annual Jeff Fisher and Friends Celebrity Softball yeah. Tournament. We see some video of last year's. Moving over to uh, Fallon, uh, Missouri this year uh, at T.R. Hughes Ballpark coming up on Sunday. Tell me what you guys look forward to. Well, I love the Home Run Derby. Yes. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, last year I had very little competition. Uh, a lot of trash talk from T.J. McDonald, um, but but really no no uh, swing to back it up, so to speak. So you're the re the reigning home run derby champ. I would say almost by default. I wasn't even against a, another athlete in the final round. It was a, a DJ and a radio host. So I'm, I'm hoping the other guys kind of bring their A game this year. And um, you know, I said in a radio interview last week, I'm trying to get the. MVP and the Home Run Derby champ. So that's, that's my goal. That'd be great. And you see uh, River City Rascals, uh, TR Hughes Ballpark coming up Sunday. I know it's only $10 to get in. And of course, for Jeff Fisher, goes to great charities that he supports. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mercy Ministries, Wounded Warriors, just a couple. There's five of them in total. Um, the JT Snow Foundation, I mean, goodness, there's, there's a lot of things that he supports. And um, anything that Coach is behind, I'm behind. I really believe in everything that he, right. he does kind of back. And so um, it'll be a great night. You know, like you said, $10. Um, home Run Derby starts at 545. We got the game after at 7. And then there's an awesome fireworks display that uh, Fish puts on every year. Yeah, it's a great event. Don't miss the Home Run Derby. So you got to get there at 545 yeah. or a little, little bit early.